The buzzer, bless you. So, what's going on? Victor, what are you saying? Thank you very much for the follow. Um, guys, we've got a little hype train going. Hype train! Beautiful time to be alive. Thank you very much for the hype train. Um, thank you. Thompson, Will, and DeBaza, three of my favorite humans on Earth, literally. Thank you so much. Um, that is hollow, and I made a mistake, so I've got to play it again. I actually want my drums to be... A bit louder. Let me just see if I can do that on my end and not affect it on your end. Oh, I can. Magic. I'm confident I can play it. Oh shit, we go straight into that. No fucking way. Sneaky bastard. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here we fucking go, concealing fate. Ha 
That's insane. I like that. Oh my god, the click over that is so distra uh, distracting. I'll show you guys in a minute. Really? Okay. Oops. I actually thought we were ending that. I didn't know we were doing part three. Okay, what I'm gonna do. I literally didn't know we were doing part three. I was waiting for the uh, for that to end. Listen to how fucked up. I need to turn the metronome on a minute. Right. You got the metronome? Very start, thank you. Here we go. So over this bit, it's completely fine, but when it gets to the next bit, it's like a quarter note out. Or the upbeat doesn't change. Here. Ah.
then it links back up in a minute. I think. Yeah, here. Yeah, there's the one. Like, the one is in the wrong place, because you've got, like, a bar of five. And then... Um, then it's got to go back to the four. Ah, cool! God damn it. I mean, I'll be able to work with it. I've just got to forget. <laughs> I've literally got to forget. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's do the outro again. Do you want the metronome on or off, actually? Let's have a... What, what would you guys prefer? Do you want to see the metronome? Oh, do you want to <laughs> see the metronome? Do you want to see it with your eyeballs? It's that loud that you can see it. Do you want to see the metronome? Do you want to hear the metronome? God. Do you want to hear the metronome? Or do you want me to turn it off? Hey, Final Fix. Hey, Victor. Hey, Diego. Could I do equations too? No. I literally, I forgot all my algebra when I left school. X equals, I don't know, something probably. Hand of Doom, thanks for the follow. You prefer metronome on? All right, I'll leave it on. You guys get the most realistic experience of what it's like for me on stage. Ping, pong, 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 ping, pong, pong. Just constant. Y equals MX plus B. Yes, actually. Pretty sure it does. I've got no idea if it does. for ping 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 yeah man Diego, we have to have the metronome because we've got like um, MIDI stuff going on that needs to be in time, like MIDI guitar changes and stuff like that. I love the metronome. It's my best friend. Yes, yeah, seven people. Do I get tired of it? Um, I've just kind of <laughs> blocked it out at this stage. I barely hear it. That's just hearing loss. Don't you know how you're feeling? It's not there. Ping, ping, ping. Ping ping ping, ping ping ping, ping ping ping.
thank you very much, Halibut. Here we go. I need to get that fill down because I'm going to put a fill there. Um, Elvar, do I play a run? Do I run a backing track from a laptop or? Yeah, literally, what you're listening to now is what we'll hear on stage. So, we have um, we have a session set up like this, and if I zoom out, you'll see the whole session. That is the set. We have to make it before, and obviously, it won't have. If I go up here, you've got guitar, bass, drums. I've muted that. Um, and then Ackles patch changes and shit up the top here. So we got all these different things going on. And some of these noises, for example, if I just go back a step and go solo the noise. We've got some things in the background because there's like so many guitar layers in the music that we have some of this um, like in the background. And a lot of like synthy sounds, the ambient like <laughs> those noises they'll be on a backing track because we haven't got someone in the band that can go ah! I mean I guess I can because <laughs> you just heard me do it but you know what I mean we've only got five of us uh, two guitarists one bassist one drumist and one singist I actually knew a guy who used to legitimately call drummers drumists and singers singists and I was like dude are you serious he was like yeah singist I'm like it's vocalist and he, he put out like a poster an advert looking for a uh, looking for a singist. I don't reckon he found one. So, yes, you're looking at what we will have on stage, just to the side of the stage, on top of our big box of shit uh, rack stuff, which is like our in ear stuff and our guitar modelers and blah, all that shit. Um, it's like two or three flight cases big, but that's it. There's just this world of racks. There's like three racks and um, Tessa racks, you might call them. Ah, oh, see what I did there. And they uh, they are the brain. They are the mothership. And without them, we are unable to perform. Literally, we had one show where something didn't work. Very crucial part of the gear just completely died a few years ago on the BT BAM tour in North America and we literally couldn't play the show. Literally couldn't play the show. It was heartbreaking. It was the only time that's ever happened where something just fundamental broke and we couldn't do anything about it. We we can't, literally can't just plug in and go. We don't have amps. It's all through a computer. Um, so yeah, we did have it for the next night. That was crazy. What about lightning system? Um, what about lighting system? Is that synced with the tracks? Uh, we, uh, yes, to a degree. So what happens is um, our lighting guy, it's not literally synced with a cable. So we don't have a cable that goes to um, front of house where the lighting guy is. We will have a, um, a, a radio pack that goes to him. Or actually, I think what they do, we'll send like a, the metronome that we've got here um, to the lighting guy. And there'll be a cue at the start of the set, like a dit 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 for him. And when he hears the dit 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 dit, he hits play on his pre-programmed light set. So it's not literally, we don't hit play on our computer when the lights start or anything, but we have pre-programmed lights um, when we're tour touring with our own light lighting package. And then the LD lets those run. And then all he's got to do is play with the in-house lights um, if they're not linked to the system. That's kind of how it works normally. So, there we go. Zedred, by the way, thank you very much for the sub. Grey hands with the follow. Uh, 2066, Chris Drive, yo. Hand of Doom, thank you guys. Thompson with the gift sub to Yes It Flippin' Is David. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm giving you all the, all the flipping backing behind the scenes uh, information here. Was that the Athens show when the equipment failed? Athens... Um, I, I thought you were about actual Athens. Um, uh, I don't know. If you were at that show and we didn't play and we were supposed to, 
yes, it was that show. I honestly can't remember where it was. I just know it was in America. And I think I'm right. I think it was snowy outside. Which doesn't mean it could have been anywhere in America. There's snow outside. But I can't bloody remember, if I'm being totally honest. Um, It was Marine. Maine. Okay, it was Maine. There you go. Um, Shows how much I know. But yes, um, this is what we do. And what happens is... Ackle will be at the side of stage. We've all tested our in-ears. Everything's working. And he'll hit play. He'll hit space bar. And it will start the set. And then I've got a minute or so to get on stage, to sit down, get make sure I'm nicely prepared. I've got my towel and I've got my water. My sticks are all fresh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then we play, play a gig. And we're, we've all got the same metronome. And it should be pretty easy. Victor, your girlfriend says hi. Hello, Victor's girlfriend. Hello. JDTP Ursiad. How's my day going? My day's going okay. I've uh, I've been working on drum lesson stuff most of the day. Um, we uh, we've been trying to sort out our house purchase because we've been delayed by a day. We're supposed to purchase a house tomorrow, but it's been delayed by a day because we missed a crucial deadline. I don't know how, but we did. Um, was there a long-haired dude at your show, Diego? There's generally one or two long-haired dudes at our show. Uh, if there's not a long-haired dude at our show, we're at the we're playing the wrong show, basically. Um, at least fifty-three people at our shows are dudes, and they have long to extremely long hair, not including the people in the band. Okay. Let's carry on. We're some way through Concealing Fate Part 3. I'm going to go on from here. How's it going? Music Man, thank you very much for the follow, uh, for the sub rather, not just the follow. And Post Socletico, what are you saying? Thank you for the follow. You're in denial. Oh, I don't know what's going on with that metronome. I literally don't listen to that ever. It's so confusing. We're not counting it, it's just getting us to the next the next point in the music. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. I think it's like 17-1 or something dumb.
Hey, up Lower Earth, how's it going? And normally, when I do that, it'll be a nice transition. It won't be that horrible mess that you just heard where I was like, Oh! Um, it sounded terrible. Uh, this is going to be King! Ah, nice! I literally, I've, I've seen the set list in the Tesseract thing, but this is all a surprise to me, so... I guess I called Yeeted the intro. The intro? What was the intro idea? I can't remember, you're gonna have to tell me. <laughs> yes, I do remember that, oh my god. Oh great, there's no guitar. Wonderful. That's a bit lame. It's so funny he's having the BBs, Dan just goes, Blind man! <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's so weird playing it without a guitar. I just hear Dan go, blind man, again. Bad. I need to practice that.
There's the guitars! Ah. Oh. Ah, cool. Phoenix, yeah, man. Thank you for the follow. I'm not going to do that, but I kind of like the triplet thing at the end. What's this going to be? Oh, I think it's Tourniquet. Well, I know it's Tourniquet because I just read it. <laughs> I've never played this song with Tess. So this is going to take a minute to get used to.
did that wrong. loop this bit and get this right. Where's it from? My in-ear just died. It literally stopped. Okay, let me just... Uh Needs like a slow fill like that. <laughs> I won't do that. Cowbell. Thank you for the raid. It's Moose. It's Moose, everyone. Moose. How's it going? I'm playing around with... Uh, Tornaquette. Actually, I'm just playing along to the whole thing, to the whole set. Actually, I like the way Hollow goes into two. That sounds brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to be able to reach down, grab a little drinky poo, and um, then go into part two. But no. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a straw. I'm literally going to have to have Harry stood behind me and just like hand me a drink with a straw. Or can I get one of them backpacks that runners get that's got, you know, your, your camel thing, the water's on your back. 
so you can just drink it. There you go, Camelback. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Beer hat. Oh my god. If James can wear a beer hat, you can wear a red wine hat. Ackle can wear a amber beer hat or a red beer, whatever Ackle likes. And Dan can wear a mead and porridge hat. I'd be so happy. I can't believe it. it's one week today and I'll be in the U uh, UK. Although I fly at like six something in the evening, so I'll still be in Texas right now. Um, where the stars at night are big and bright. No? No one's going to sing it with me? Okay, fair enough. Um, let me just step back in time and just play that bit for a bit because it's a, it's a motherfucker. We're going to have to get this bit tight in the studio. I've got a feeling this bit in particular is going to be the bit where Ackle's face turns into a sour grape and he looks at me like he's upset. I can already tell. <laughs> Especially when we're on stage and we're wanting to rush. Oh, shit. <laughs> All the bits, maybe. That'll be fine. Uh, I like that one. It's chill enough. I actually I like the way it starts as well, just straight into the uh, the hi hat thing. Um, in fact, let me. I, I didn't actually play that all the way through, so let's let's just zoom out a bit and do it. Let's see. Here we go.
I didn't know if that was the last one there. I had no idea. Yeah, that's going to be good. I'll enjoy that one. You haven't played it since you filmed Portals? <laughs> it's so funny, isn't it? We're one week away from being in uh, in a room together, which is actually... I'm actually really fucking looking forward to that. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be great. We're one week away from it, and we've... Um, I mean, uh, to be fair, I've been playing drums a lot this past past couple of years but i know that you guys are just like ah i'll be fine <laughs> like everyone's like perfectly content that we're, we're all just going to turn up and be able to play and i'm i'm sure it'll be fine absolutely sure hoping it'll be fine <laughs> oh man it's gonna be good though i'm enjoying it um Crazy to think you're finally touring again. Nuro, you're not wrong, my friend. By the way, Nuro, I don't know if I called you out. Thank you for the uh, resub. Uh, Dragon Min. Amazing. Is that a play on Far Cry by any chance? I like that a lot. That's amazing. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, if anyone's sat in the background and um, you've got $5 or less that you don't want, subscribe to this channel. Why not? What's the worst thing that could happen? Best thing that could happen is you have a lovely time and you get to know us a little bit and you get to see the members of Tesseract stream from time to time um, maybe on tour you get to see behind the stage behind the scenes and stuff you get to come on our tour bus and see what we look like in our pants which is British for underwear not just these things um, red wine stream from the bus how about that when we're watching Anvil in the van. It's not even going to be a bus on the next tour that we're doing. We're literally going on tour in a van. So that's going to be exciting. Old school and get in a van. We try and stream from the van and we're on the motorway and we just run out of signal everywhere. So a three-hour stream is going to be like ten shorter streams, probably. Pants, not trousers. Okay, there you go. Um, but yeah consider subscribing if you've got amazon prime you can subscribe for free yes you can it doesn't cost you anything if you've got amazon prime literally nothing all you have to do is link your twitch to it and then go oi tesseract subscribe it's, it's easy it's dead easy if you don't want to do that that's also fine it's just a suggestion but it's a good way to help support the band because um we're musicians which as everyone knows is the highest paid industry in the world if you're a musician um, especially in a, a band that originated in the in world of Gent. Um, y you all know that we're absolutely minted, making fucking loads of money all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm just being a dick. We're fine, but we're not millionaires yet. Yet. I said yet. Album 5, we'll be millionaires. We'll all be driving around in fancy Audis and things. And... Uh, We'll have the money to go into posh studios for the rest of our lives and not even need mates rates because whenever we've gone into posh studios in the past we've got mates rates because we've known the people that own the studios <laughs> remember all those videos back in the day from one from our first album do you know how much it cost us to go into those studios our time is what it cost us to go into those studios i don't think we paid a single bit of money to go into any of those studios because uh Amos was working at one of them, and what would happen is um, people wouldn't turn up for the sessions that they'd booked, and then after a certain time had passed, Amos would then be allowed to say, Hey guys, would you like to come down and record in one of the nice studios? And we'd say, Yes please, Amos Williams. And um, that's how it would work. And yeah, we, I think we managed to record Concealing Fate for free. I think uh, Sunrise and Lament. No, Nascent. Sunrise and Nascent. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely mental. Gibby, prog metal. 
have you taken a lot of drugs? Because <laughs> you're saying some really random shit in the chat right now. Oh, my days. Um, okay. I'm going to carry on practicing. So that was Tourniquet. Uh, the next song. What do you guys think is the next song? Whoever gets the song right, um, if you're coming to one of these shows, I will put you on the guest list. Okay, I'll do that. I will. Debaza, you're not coming to one of these shows, mate. If you win the lottery, you'll pay for the next album within reason. Okay, yeah, if you win $10 on the lottery, you can pay for our next album. I'm totally fine with that. That sounds fantastic. Uh, a brand new song. It's not a brand new song, unfortunately. We did talk about doing that. Um... Okay, well, you're all wrong, apart from Debaza, who isn't even coming to the UK, I assume, because he's in America. So, uh, now you're all wrong. I'm about to play what it is, and then you'll go, oh, no, damn it, I wish I'd said that one. Hey, it's Mike Malian. Where is he? There he is. Right there, literally. Mike, I think we're doing all right, mate. Ah, oh, Neuro, yo. Why did I go back to the hats there? Like, I'm seriously trying to copy your, your some of your things in here. Literally. Yeah, I was listening to the Portals one and I'm like, ah, fucking hell. The bar is raised again. I'm going to have to do some, like, some of them fills. <laughs> Get a room. We will. We will on the tour. We're going to make sweet, sweet love.
Yeah, dude, one hundred percent. Am I allowed to do something like that over Nocturne now that it's an old song? Or do I have to stick to the original? Sick. Because I've got like... Um, let me just... My sweaty hands aren't working on my flipping trackpad. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it just jumped like 50 miles. Ah! Keep the first one nice and clean, and then start to introduce a, a, a couple of nice bits. And then just do one of those fat fills at the end there, but um, without messing it up. Ideally. And then end on an 8 inch Tom hit, obviously. Oh, Joel! Thank you for the um, tier 1 sub. I appreciate it. Um, Mysk1, thank you for the follow. Um, Ma Malian, thank you for being gifted a sub by Neuro. <laughs> by Neuro, thank you very much. Um, I'm getting warm. Guys, check this out. You ready for this? You better cover your eyes, it's gonna blind you. <gasps> a white shirt! Oh my god, it's not black. Shit. He can't be in Tesseract because he's not wearing black. Just you wait. I'm gonna get a white drum kit. I'm gonna wear a white suit on stage. And I'm gonna be bald. And people are gonna think I'm Devin Townsend, apart from not playing a guitar. And I've got a beard. No one's gonna think I'm Devin Townsend, that was a lie. Um. Fired, I know. If I wore a white shirt, can we wear white on stage, please? We just, I know we'd need a new shirt every night. The black's good because it can get disgusting and no one can see. And whereas if you're wearing white, people can see. But it just means we've got to be cleaner humans. And I've got no problem with that. Not implying that you're not clean, Moss, if you're still there. You're very clean. You're clean as a whistle. Dan's very clean as well. Ackle's clean. James is not clean. James's shirt would be black by the second day if it started out white on the first day, to be fair. Should we play... Um, what's the next one? Guys, what do you reckon the next song is? You can see it on the on the bottom thing, so it, it doesn't really... I'm going to do this, and then you won't be able to see it. Uh, oh, no, you can still see it. <laughs> okay, I don't, have a, I don't have a way to hide it, so... I guess. If you can zoom in far enough on the little screen to see what the uh, multicolored rainbow bullshit is that's coming up next. Giuseppe! Smile. It is. Nero, if we roll through your city, um, I can come to your house and you can hose us down. Mate, if you could, that would be sick, actually. Yeah. We, uh, it w we'll be pretty... Lost, though, if we come through your city on a UK tour. <laughs> that, that would be... I'd be pretty alarmed. Like, we just we wake up and we're... I don't know where you are in America, but I know you're in America. Um, we're like, we're on the way to Glasgow or something. Uh, no, Edinburgh. We're not doing Glasgow on this tour, are we? We're doing Edinburgh. We're on the way to Edinburgh, and all of a sudden we end up in wherever the fuck you are, America. That would be problematic, I think, a little bit. Oh, on the next US tour. I know, I'm just being a joker, aren't I? Western New York. Okay, mate. Well, tell you what. If you hose us down in your back or front yard, um, we will 
get you into the gig on the guest list. <laughs> Easy. Right. Rehearsing on the electric kit. Yes, I am. Uh, I don't have access to an acoustic kit. I haven't hit one in two years. I'm playing on the electric, and then uh, I'm going to go on tour like a nutcase. Anyway, music. Next song uh, is a song about my face. Drum solo during this bit, I'll just go like that drum solo I used to do at the end of King, it was really bad. Just this. What's this? Ah, bless. Now I just sit back and do nothing. This is where I get to have a drink. I finally get to have a sip of water. Moss, I will love Bullets Drummer. He's an incredible rock drummer. Oh, you know him, don't you? I remember we were backstage at whatever festival Fred Durst was just sat directly behind us. And 
you were chatting with Bullet's drummer. Was he on a tour that you did with Fightstar or something? He must have been. Either that or he's just a best mate. I don't know. Yes, there you go. Orbital Juno, no, we're just doing Orbital. That's the end of the set. Okay, Cubase. Obviously won't be doing that, but I think it would be nice to have some drums over it, but it doesn't need it. I can just sit there and go, Wee. Maybe I'll play bass for that one. I'll get a second bass guitar. You've got spares, haven't you, Mars? That'd be fine. I'm a sick bassist. the worst. That click is so obnoxious.
literally, yeah. Bazza. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, this is a point where I'd normally stand up. Do a little dance. Make a little love. And get down tonight. I've actually got to let Murph out because it's uh, her food time. One second, guys. Uh, he's back, everyone. He's back. Here he is. So I've just played the whole set. I'm flying a really long way to play for 40 minutes. Can we play for four hours, please? Actually, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do four hours. I take it back. That would be obnoxious. A hype train is close. Very good to know. Um, Are we playing a nice set? Do you guys... What do you guys think? Are you pleased with the set that we are playing? I know there's not a new song in there yet. We're working on new material, I promise. In fact, me and Amos were having a nice conversation the other day about, um, you guys know Hollow, don't you? Well, we'd like to extend that using another fan favorite. Hi there, Perifilion. Hello, mate. How's it going? Meshrip 3. Carver, you may be correct. Yes, you may be correct. We were talking about it, trying to combine, um, what you call it, uh, Hollow and Meshrip 3. <laughs> Shall I um, play something that we... Oh, I'm going to play through the set again, because I need to play it more than once. Um, but I'd like to play a song that we're going to try. I think we should try and turn into... Um, a song for album five personally Moss don't know if you're still there we've got to do something with this this is Meshrip 3 which is a very old demo that we had uh, it was written even before the first album it's like super old but we haven't had anything we haven't had a way to use it on any of the albums that we've worked on so far and I really love playing it, really love playing it. There's a load of energy in this song. And this, so this is Meshrip 3. Meshrip 1, the, that was the old name for Hollow. There's Meshrip 1, 2, and 3. And me and Master were talking the other day about trying to stitch together Meshrip 3 and Hollow. We don't know how that would work yet, but I think it would be sick. So Meshrip 3, here we go. Ah! 
Oh my days, that was a massive yeet. I got it stuck under there and it's like over there now. Oh my gosh, hang on a second. <laughs> well, hopefully on this tour I'll have a thing next to me that has spare sticks in it. Otherwise when that happens, I'm going to have to leave my drum kit. Nero, I'm really hoping that never happens. That'd be so bad. Um, the schedule we, we announce it each week it's on uh, Instagram and Discord and those places Hello Shatar, how's it going? to work out that fill because coming back over I know I'm gonna miss that live I could do that if I had uh, another Tom on that side that'd be easy or just get faster at kicks and do that metric three so that's one of my favorites I really really like that one um, we've also got Mesh Rip 2 that just sounds literally like Mesh Sugar. Um, we could try and do that sometime. But I'd like to stitch together that and Hollow, personally. I think that would work really well. And Moss thinks it would work really well, too. So I've just got to convince young Ackle now that it's a good idea. Because um, then it can make it onto... Maybe make it onto album 5. Imagine that. That'd be sick. That'd be so sick. We just got a follow and I wasn't even in the room. 
you know what actually happened? I went and did a wee. I filled up my water with some ice. And I had a little bit, bite of ice cream as well. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Yeah, Periphilion, what you're saying? Um, to one of my drum students. I'm doing uh, drum mentorship. In fact, I've actually maxed out with uh, with people I can take on. I've got 10 uh, students at the moment. I can't do more than 10 at a time because it would be too much work. Um, but I am taking reservations for uh, the next, next round, which will begin January, if anyone's interested. If anyone is a drummer and you're stuck then hit me up. If you want to be able to do the kind of things that you hear in Tesseract's music and in my drumming, you can hit me up. Send me a DM on any of the social networks or in Discord. Um, in fact, there's, I'm sure there was a stream elements thing that we can do in this chat, but I can't remember what it is now. Probably JPDL or something. If one of the mods around turn the timer on so that that thing pops on, that would be amazing because otherwise no one's going to know about it. I'm just talking. Anyway. And Carver as well. What are you saying, Carves? How are you doing, Carves? Um, oh, it's on. Okay, brilliant. All right, then I shall shut up. And we're going to play the set one more time because that's what you have to do. You have to get used to it. Not you. I have to get used to it. Let's go. So that will happen. I'll walk on stage. It'll be dark. I'll sit down, stumbling around the back, trying to not trip over any cables and plug anything sit down at the drum kit. I'll look all moody. I'll be trying to f center myself. Try not trying to ignore the fact that there's like a couple of thousand people out there watching. And then the other guys will walk on and everyone will go Aah! And then Dan will walk on and I go Aah! Just like that. They make that exact noise. In exact unison as well, it's really impressive. It's like they've got a metronome. And then we'll be like, Are you guys fucking ready for some fucking metal? And then we do this. Hell. And then I'd make a mistake. I was reading the chat. It turns out I can't read the chat and play hollow. I started reading the chat. I, I literally started reading the chat trying to respond and then I stopped being able to play. Now we're okay. Yeah, Andrew, literally that.
Ah, I might need to do that again. Um, yeah, the song is Hollow. It's a song that we um, released ages ago, but that's a new version of it that we've been working on. Um, cheer on, Lee, what are you saying? Thank you very much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that very much. Um, Dam Aries, hello. Thank you for the follow. Brad Croft, thanks for the follow as well. Um, Party Marty, hello, Party Marty, what are you saying? Let's play that again, because that was absolute horse shit. go. Let me go straight into this madness. I've got to work out that transition. So... There we go. Fuck you! Okay, got it. Hello, Cleethorps! Jack Pauly! Hello, The Room Studios!
saying? What am I saying? Uh, just practicing, mate. Basically. while boxing uh, but while playing uh, okay you guys do it in the uh, the poll or is there an actual quiz thing built into twitch I don't know about it. I just want that bit to speed up just a little bit. It never does. Don't you know how you're feeling? Uh... There you go.
Ah! That little fill that I'm trying to put in there, and I keep facking it up. Don't you know how to keep, keep me safe? This guy! Yeah man, I'm gonna sing now. I'm so good at singing. <laughs> it was purple and mud, wasn't it? Bollocks, and again, I've got like a triplet thing that I'm trying to do there, and every time I make a ham salad of it. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Can I just do that bit again? I want to get that sounding good. Do. Yay! And the crowd goes wild! Everyone loves the drummer! The drummer, everyone! Yeah!
I quite like that. Fucking around with the end in there. Yeah, doing that kind of metal fill there. Last beat. No blast beats in here, thank you very much. I quite like that though. What do you guys reckon? Hell no. Anti climax. What am I having? Um, I have no idea. What should I eat tonight? I love that. <laughs> ah, fucking piss my face. Can you believe I fucked that up?
I won't be doing that. I'm just fucking about now. Ah! Evidently, and making mistakes. I think it's on the hats. Let's do that bit again. Marty Marty, are we big enough for private security escorts yet? A couple of shows, yes. Uh, but no, like it, no, not generally. In a couple of cities, yes, because we've got a couple of nutcases that are dangerous and we can't let them in shows. <laughs> Which is f so fucked. Um, but, uh, yeah, not, mostly no. I love them. I'd love to do a triplet fill at the end there, but they all sound a bit shite. <laughs> just like, ah, just like Jular it. Just do that. Quet time, everyone. It's only quit. Diego, I'd love to see what you did, dude.
Uh, no, I use an acoustic kit live, but I'm just at home at the moment. I won't do that, obviously. That'd be stupid. Um, yeah, the... What do I do? Like one of those in there. Just a little frill. One of them. Just do doubles the whole time. Yo! That, I like that. I like having that snare with the china just before it drops in. That's sick. Nox Drummer, hello. Hi. Hi there. How's it going? Thanks for the uh, for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope your, uh, your stream was delightful. Raiders, what are you saying? My name's G. I drum in the band whose channel you're watching right now, Tesseract. Uh, we're a bunch of blokes from the UK. I used to have hair. I don't know how I jumped from a, we're from the UK to where I used to have hair. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? I used to have hair though. Long hair. Really long. Went down to my ass, basically. And now I don't. But this is a much better version of me. What I've lost in hair, I've gained in wisdom and good looks. And beard hair. And uh, it's a delight to have you here, spending a bit of time with me. And the other Tessa crew, everyone that's here. Mad Vixen, hello. Um, thank you very much for the commenting, saying hello. Hello, Angel Bear. How's it going? Nice to have you. America does that to you. Yeah, the last couple of years in America. Man, I used to, I had hair on day one. By day two, gone. Fell out. <laughs> Only kidding. I cut it off on purpose. Obviously. Look at this view. Look at this. You'll see why. See that? When that starts to happen on the back there, you just need to shave it off. You need to get rid of it. Have it gone. It's just embarrassing otherwise. You see yourself in a mirror. If you go to like a clothes shop, you try some clothes on and they've got their mirrors like on either side. You put a t-shirt on or something. You're like, oh my God, that's the back of my head. I had no idea. So uh, it's like, it's got to go. Let's cut it all off. Skull it for the win. Absolutely no way. Your brother had to do that when he was 17. Oh, that's rough. When I was 17, I'd have wanted hair, to be fair. But I'm 37. I don't actually give a shit anymore. I like having facial hair, if I'm being honest. I like having a beard. I feel rugged. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, a, I'm one of those plaid shirts away from being like a lumberjack. That's what I need. That's what I need. I need to do tree cutting streams. We need to go out into the wilderness somewhere near our new house because we're just we're about to buy a house in North Carolina we need to go out into the wilderness on a stream 
and uh, I'll take my axe with me. I'll be wearing my shirt. I'll grab my beard out so that, you know, I look the part. Cut a tree down and then make a drum kit out of it. I've made drums. I'll make a stave drum kit out of the tree that I cut down. How about that? No? No takers? Anyone up for that? Yes, we're leaving Texas. Now you're a male! <laughs> you, yes, dude. No, You've got no idea how many times we've watched that. We tried to watch that, I think, four days in a row. Uh, we were watching that on tour, and different members of the band were falling asleep at different points, so we literally had it on, on the bandwagon four nights in a row. No regrets. It's so good. Um... Diego, why are we moving? Uh, many reasons. Um, housing is affordable in Charlotte. We live in Austin at the moment where housing is not affordable. Uh, if you didn't start Google 20 years ago or whenever Google was started and own Google, you just basically can't be here. You need to be in tech, in finance, or in tech or finance, or Tesla, which I suppose is tech, isn't it? Or in, yeah, just those two things. If you do either of those two things, you can live in Austin because you can put down 15, like one and a half million dollars on a thousand square foot house. Um, that's an exaggeration, but it would be probably eight, seven to eight hundred thousand for about a thousand square feet, which is stupid. I'm not, I'm not paying that. So we've moved to uh, North Carolina, moving to North Carolina, moving to Charlotte, which is where Bailey's family's from, my wife, and, um, She's got loads of friends there as well, so it's going to be nice. And I'll get to build a drum studio. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, I do. I get to build a flipping drum studio in the garden. It's going to be sick. And I'm going to stream that. I'm going to stream me building a drum studio. It's going to be really boring. I might have a lapel mic and a radio pack so that you guys can actually hear what I'm doing and talking. Uh, saying. But yeah. Um, 25k added to the average house. Where are you, Andrew? Where are you? Housing cost and nuts. Oh, back in the UK. Yeah, dude. Same. It's... It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, you mean Cornwall? Cornwall's lush. I've got a friend down, a couple of friends down in Cornwall. Um, in fact, we're talking about recording album five in um, a, our, in a studio down in Devon that I've, I've been in a couple of times before. Uh, no, just once before. Really, really cool studio. Having like three weeks there and just getting album five down. Should be sick. That's the one! Middle Farm! I love Middle Farm. We recorded there a few years ago and it was great. It was so good. The vibe's so nice. So want to go back there. Um, don't know when exactly yet. Like definitely the first quarter of next year. Um, that's the plan anyway. Pete Mars is great. He is flipping great. When is five expected? We're we're getting very close. Um, there's a lot of really good material. Um, we want to go into a sh into the studio with it. I need to spend more time on this kit with it um so that when we go into the studio we're not just fannying around uh, there's some like really detailed patterns that i still need to absorb for album five um but they're absorbing they are absorbing i'm still a sponge for different times uh, i am the time sponge everyone that is my new name jay is the time sponge um Will it be longer than Sonder? Yes. Sonder was a, a, was very rushed in terms of the amount of material we had. We, we had to get the album out and do a load of touring in a really short amount of time. So we And the, the writing kept getting interrupted by shows and touring. So it was literally... It, was, it would have been an EP if we hadn't extended the, uh, a section within um mirror image basically <laughs> we had mirror image and we're like oh let's just leave that section again and it we got it just over the timing threshold to be an album it's like oh. we but we didn't want to put out any of the other material because we weren't happy with it so yes that's why sonder was so short but this one we've already got more material than we have for sonder like loads more so we're trying to arrange it we're still writing new stuff as well there's new stuff being written all the time we just got to choose the best stuff literally the best stuff in fact there's one song that um, I can play you. I can play you something new. That Dan, everyone's been working on it on stream actually. Do you want to hear it? Um, that's one of the ideas. When's the new album coming? 
Uh, I don't have a date. I literally don't have a date. We're still working on it, but that's something that we were working on uh, on Twitch. And you'll you'll definitely catch us working on more new Tesseracts. We just have to decide between us which songs we want to work on publicly and which ones we want to hold back back completely. I'd say we'd work on Hollow and Meshrip 3. If that becomes something for the album, we'd definitely work on that on Twitch. Um, we'll definitely work more on that one on Twitch. But there's some that have got to be a surprise because <laughs> they, they're mental. We played actually a little bit of a brand new one on um, on the first stream that we did yes we did we played a bit of the new one uh, it's called um shit what's it called damage limitation it's so mental it's so flipping mental anyway let's play um dan showed you a different one last week did he uh was he doing surge no i've got like january version of surge which might be shit so i won't play that but I'll um, I'll get the new version for another stream and we'll play that. Uh, I'm going to carry on playing the set because I this is supposed to be a practice for me and so far I've been really shit at practicing drums. Yeah, Baza, we're doing we're trying to put together Hollow and Mesh Rip Three. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, let's try this. <laughs> No, hell no, I was, did the wrong fill. this yeah that works straight rock beat it's 
sack screws you. Hello, mate. Going well, thank you very much. Skyfree things we are in literally one week. We are touring the UK in a week with a uh, bullet for my Valentine. Yeah, bullets opening for us, 100%. <laughs> Arena tour. things you live near where where's that Zach I think it's going to be going on forever mate if I'm honest
we're not doing that bit. <laughs> That's a shame. Zach, you should come out to a show. Have you been, uh, have you had your COVID jab? Zach, I've had mine, dude. Get ready guys and girls for the best song you'll ever hear this year, but the worst drum performance you'll see in your life. Favorite song to play live? Uh, I actually really enjoy this one. Dystopia as well, but we're not doing that on this tour, which is annoying because it's sick.
we bleed it. Bleed it! Yeah. Hey Shizzy, I'm going to show you the um, five pattern over this. Ready? I'm going to try and do it. The fast one. <laughs> it doesn't quite work. That was so dumb. What was that? What the hell was that, Phil? It was in time, but it was shit. Hang on a sec. Let's get that end, Phil, actually not shit. Now we need to work that out. Oh my god! Do I do it? Do I dare do it? So much potential for it to go wrong. I've never done it before on stage. Nah, it's ending, that's going to be a nightmare. Just do singles, so you get right, left, left, right. I could try it, it's going to be fucking difficult. I mean, I like it.
<laughs> I might do that, you know. What are we saying, guys? Is that a stupid fill to do, or is that going to work? I've I've not actually had the balls to use that in Tesseract yet because it sounds so fucking dumb. But I kind of think it could be sick at the same time, especially if I manage to get that double out at the end on the kick. The risk is I go <laughs> because I get it mixed up. If I can end it. Oh man, I think I'm going to practice that, you know, because if I can throw that in live. Just for the end of the set, just one little, like, I'm a fucking drummer. I would just get one of those in. I'll be well happy. If, as long as I can pull it off in London and it's not... Well, like... It still wouldn't sound bad. It would just be like... Doo -doo 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 which is kind of dull. I'll do and then I'll stand up and be like peace I'm going back to America and I'm going to move house <laughs> anyway that was uh, that was drums everyone still got about uh, 10 minutes left is there a Tesseract song that I've not played today that I could play for you beautiful bastards before I call it an, a day a night an evening and they go and wash the sweat from my brow and balls. Is there uh, something that you'd like? Ev lips! Ev lips! Ev lips. Dystopia hexes. Ooh. Ooh. Right, it's Dystopia, which is a song about, um, I don't know what the fuck it's about. It's making no difference to the volume. Is it, is it, does the volume sound okay to you guys? Okay, all right.
baby Jesus. It's a fun song to play. Magnificent Muse. What you saying? There you go, you can have my kick for a little while. This would be a crowd pleaser. I'd have loved to have done this, uh, but the other guys are just shit humans. And actually, no, I don't know why this didn't make the set. I don't actually know. Anyway. Let's uh, end things on. Um, maybe we'll go into hexes. That'd be a nice one to jam out on. Moderator Supremes, if anyone is there, if we could uh, get a raid sorted for the end of this song, I will be eternally grateful, and I will, um, I'll kiss you. Right on the mouth.
Guys, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to go and raid Chain Brain. Um, I'll see you on Friday. I'm thinking of doing a stream this weekend as well. Timing was spot on, dude. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. We'll see you next time. Peace.